Hello and welcome to this episode of Press Room. My name is Amal Chaudhary and today we will be talking about how over the years climate has changed in Australia. Australia was already grappling with extreme heat and one of the worst droughts on record when devastating bushfires tore through the bone dry land. For months, the infernos have raced through Australia's southeast, leaving parts of the country choking under some of the worst air pollution in the world. Since September, more than 18 million hectares, that is 44 million acres of bush, land and forest have been burned. At least 28 people have died, around 3,000 homes have been destroyed and about 1 billion animals could have been affected. Heavy rain down the east coast this week has temporarily eased the crisis but authorities warn the fire risk is not over. Bushfire season typically ends in March. Only last week, Australia's capital city of Canberra declared a state of emergency as bushfires moved rapidly in the area. Scientists had warned for more than a decade that an extreme bushfire season was coming and that the climate crisis was to blame. I think the size and the intensity of these fires coupled with the drought have really just pushed Australia into a place that doesn't feel like home anymore, said Lyndon Ashcroft, lecturer in climate science and science communication at Melbourne University's School of Earth Science. It doesn't feel safe anymore. Australia has been getting hotter and drier for decades. Since 1910, the country has warmed by just over 1 degree Celsius, on par with global levels, and this has meant more frequent and more intense heat waves. Last year was the hottest and driest year ever recorded in Australia, according to the Australian Bureau of Metrology. On top of extreme heat, there has been a long-term decline in southern Australia's rainfall, which mainly comes during the winter months. Drought-stricken towns of New South Wales, for example, are suffering with severe water shortages as the state has received less than 125 mm or 5 inches of rain every year since 2017. That has never happened before. The signs that are this will become more common. We did have a perfect storm of events this year, but I don't think it's too much of a stretch to imagine that this is what a summer will look like in future, which is really quite confronting, Ashcroft said. Furthermore, Australia is known for extreme fluctuation in its weather. In summer, it's not uncommon for towns to see 40 degrees Celsius weather one day and heavy hailstorms the next. What we are seeing now is that natural variability is occurring on top of the long term human-induced climate changes and that we are seeing the extreme becoming even more extreme," said Neril Abram, professor at the Australian National University Research School of Earth Sciences in Melbourne. Driving Australia's erratic weather are several climate systems that conspired in such a way this year to increase the hot dry conditions. A climate phenomena called the Indian Ocean Dipole, that is the IOD, had a big role. You're not alone if you've never heard of the IOD, but you might know about its counterpart in the Pacific Ocean, El Nino. El Nino is a warming of the eastern Pacific Ocean, mainly along with the equator, and it can change circulation patterns around the globe. The IOD describes changes in sea surfaces temperature between the opposing eastern near Indonesia and western near Africa, parts of the Indian Ocean, and it has three phases, neutral, positive, and negative. So this is it from this episode of Depressed Room. For more such videos, keep watching my nation.